said burp means I'm done. Burping can save our lives. No fooling. Burping, belching, being a buzzard, as my Aunt Jean likes to call it, is a great tool in helping us learn how to better master our digestion. There are three types of burps. The first burp is a clear burp. It usually comes around the time when it's mealtime for most of us. We're already feeling a little hungry. You do a little burp and it's clear. There's no food taste in your mouth. That burp is your go-ahead, green light, A-OK -okay signal. Enjoy your meal. However, the second type of burp is that burp that happens and we are burping and tasting food from the previous meal or the previous previous meal. Halt, stop, wait, don't eat. That culinary gourmet burp is our body's way of saying, hold up, I'm still trying to process food from before. Don't give me any more. Instead, Chew on a slice of ginger root, sprinkle with a little sea salt and some lime or lemon juice. Or sip on some ginger tea and wait for the clear burp. It will come. The third burp to be on the lookout for is the burp that happens during our meals. That burp for some of us can be soft, almost silent like. And for others, it's a full out siren. You mess around and mess all the little Ernest Golden years, magic golden years, and you're gonna be mad at yourself. Uh, That's your nephew. Uh, <laughs> baby's got little kids. <laughs> when that burp comes on, break light. Stop. Put your fork down. Don't put another morsel of food into your mouth. That burp is our body's way of communicating to us that it has had enough. It can't process any more food. Don't put any more in me. That's what it's screaming. You know, for me, the first time I started practicing this habit, I looked at my plate and thought, um, there's still so much more food here. Because we eat with our eyes and food tastes so good and we grew up hearing about children in other countries who were starving, so we had to clean our plates and we want to do our parts, we are strong-willed, a little hard-headed. And we will forge ahead and ignore that during the meal burp. When we do, 15 to 20 minutes later, notice how you felt. Are you feeling a little gassy, bloaty, a little heavy, ready for a snooze? That is our ticket for having run that red light and ignoring that during the meal burp. And then the next time, make a conscious decision to honor that burp, listen to it, experiment and see what happens. Put your food down during that time and then wait 15 to 20 minutes later and see how you feel. Compare that time with the time when you forged ahead. Did you feel a little lighter, more energetic? Were you bursting with energy after your meal? That is how we want to feel the majority of the time when we're eating food. Too many times pushing the envelope and disregarding the during the meal burp and the burping up previous food burp will have us contending with symptoms of Dunlap. Dunlap, where your belly done lap over your pants. It will also compromise our immune function. It will give us increasing food intolerances, aid in diabetes, hypertension. I could keep going, but you get my point. So this week, let's set the intentions to tune into our bodies. Honor it, respect it. Keep calm and burp with knowledge on Cover the Cover, where we